Hi, Billy. What's up? Oh, it's Joe again. Okay, here's what we do with Joe. We tell him not to do anything. Or we just go like, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. Or you just tell him to make his life so miserable he has to quit. Okay, here's what you do. You go, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. <laughs> ah! What? What happened? Mrs. Hollister, you've been in a very bad car accident and suffered major brain trauma. What? You can only see now on from upside down perspective because of a disease called fliporama disease. What will happen now? You're going to have a tough life. Oh, God. Mrs. Hollister, I'm going to release you and enroll you in a meditation center in the jungle to help your vision and help you see properly. Okay. Also, I'm going to have a nurse follow you around everywhere you go to make sure you don't get into any trouble. Hi, I'm the nurse. Let's go catch our flight. Let's go! Bye. Bye. I know there's a cure. I just know it. I have to find it. <gasps> I think I found it. I, I found it! Hi. Who are Welcome. you? Welcome. I am the master of meditation. Today we are going to be helping you with meditating to help your vision and help you get better with your condition of seeing upside down. Okay, that's great. When will we start? Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Um. 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 He's sleeping. Let's go. Finally, we get some free time in the jungle. The jungle's great. You know that, right? I wonder what I'm going to find in the jungle. Oh, oh, oh. I think that's a monkey. Hi. Hi. I have the same disorder as you. I see everything upside down also. I've heard about you here in the jungle. Wait, wait, wait. Stop it. You can speak? Yes, I can. Now let's go back to the nurse you have. Okay. Under arrest, ma'am. But why? What did I do? You ah. hit an old lady. No. Ah. You have to let me go. You don't understand. I'm sure I don't understand. Mean green chicken. Hi, this is Dr. IDK. I just heard that one of my patients just got arrested while driving. I have no idea why my nurse let her drive, but she has a syndrome called upside down syndrome, which makes her see everything upside down. And I have found the cure. If you could please send her over, that would be so helpful. All right, I'll send her over. I know you're wondering why I called you here. It's because I found the cure. The cure will take a while, but it's very much worth it. You have to spin this way backwards 10,000 times to reverse the effects of the syndrome. Okay. I'm cured, yay, woohoo! I'm cured, I'm cured, I'm cured. One muffin, please. Hmm. This muffin will be $50, please. 
Fifty dollars for this? Yup. Yummy. You're lucky. It used to be worth two hundred dollars, but we made more. I'll take it. <laughs> Here you go. Money, yeah. Money, money, money. What the Yay! No, 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 never again. Are you alive? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. Uh. Huh? Somebody's more. I'll leave you too. Huh? Somebody's more important. Is that Adam Sandler? <gasps> Yum. Thanks. Bye, Adam Sandler. I'm hungry. Me too. You want to go to a restaurant? Sure, but I think that all the restaurants here are closed because it's Christmas. Let's go to Hong Kong. I think I don't think they celebrate Christmas. Let's go. I can't believe we're going to Hong Kong. Yeah, it's so exciting. Just to eat anyways. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird that we're just going to eat, but I guess it's okay. I mean, it was always delicious. Yeah. Do you want to go to this restaurant? Yeah, let's go to this restaurant. Hello, happy Halloween. Uh, this is uh, okay. Th th this is your table. Here's the menu. Oh, okay. There is noodles and uh, more noodles. Oh, oh uh, okay. You can choose what you want. Let's do it, Alright. So, what's on your Christmas list? Um, box. Oh, that's cool. I have stuffed animals, you know, the usual. I don't think Santa's going to be able to come. Yeah, me either. We're not even at home. Mm -hmm. I know, right? What if Santa just barged through with a giant explosion right now? That would be interesting. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Hola, noodle shop! Free presents for all the children. No, 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 no robbery <laughs> noodle shop. <laughs> I'm not rob. I give, I give to children. Oh, okay. <laughs> that kind of. Free. Wow, look at all these presents. I know, right? Let's start opening. It's a hat. It's Santa's hat. Wow, that's so cool. Oh. Something I got a bear. I got a, I got a stuffed animal. Wow, it's books. Another stuffed animal. This is everything on our list. Yeah. I can't wow. believe Santa came. Thank you, Santa.
Ladies and gentlemen and Westfordians of all ages, welcome to the Westford Cat Quiz Show, where we're going to find out how smart Westford kids really are. So we have two contestants today. Why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Alicia, and I'm 11. Okay. My name's Anna, and I'm 11. Okay. And I'm Patty Stalker, and I am not telling you how old I am. Uh, but so why don't we go over to Andrew, and he can explain how the scorekeeping will work today. Okay, contestants, Patty will ask you a question, and I give you four options for answers. One of them is the right answer. If you think you know the answer, push the buzzer on the table. The first person to push the buzzer gets 10 seconds to answer the question. If they get the answer wrong, the other contestant gets a chance to answer. A correct answer wins you 10 points, but a wrong answer will make you lose 5 points. For the fifth and final question, instead of using the buzzer, both contestants will write down their answer on a piece of paper along with the number of points they would like to bet. You can bet as many or as few as points as you want. After the fifth question, whoever does the most points wins. Awesome. Thank you, Andrew. Good job. Okay, you guys ready? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. Here's your first question. Zane Malik, who topped the Billboard 200 in 2016 with Mind of Mine, his solo debut, previously had four number one albums as a member of what band? One, Imagine Dragons, two, Blue Man Group, three, One Direction, or four, Panic at the Disco? Yes. Three, One Direction. You got it. All right. So what is the score, Andrew? Ten, two, zero. Okay, and who has 10? Alicia has Alicia 10. Alicia has 10. Thank you. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Question seven. What product line designed for kids five and under was launched internationally by the Lego Group in 1969? One, Mindstorms. Two, Lego Movies. Three, Lego World. Or four, Duplo. Four, Duplo? Yes, Alicia, you got that correct. So after two questions, Andrew, scorekeeper? Alicia is winning 20-0. Okay, thank you. Question number eight. The Last Night is the subtitle of the upcoming fifth film. Actually, it's just came out. The Last Night is the subtitle of the fifth film and what blockbuster film series whose installments to date have all been directed by Michael Bay and based on a toy line. One Batman, two Transformers, Three Star Trek or four Star Wars? Yes, Anna. Um, Star Wars? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Yes. Batman? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's nice. Okay, it was actually Transformers. Okay. So, what do we have for a score? Alicia lost five points because she got that wrong, and Anna is at zero. Okay. Thank you. Question nine. What Dr. Seuss book, originally published in 1960, concludes with the lines, thank you, thank you, Sam I am? One, oh, the places you'll go. Two, Horton hears a who. Three, green eggs and ham. Or four, how the Grinch stole Christmas. Anna? Green eggs and ham. You got it right. Okay, this is how the final question works. Um, I'm gonna ask you a question. You're going to write down your answer, and then you're going to wager. So if you think you know the answer and you want to wager all your points, you can do that. But if you get the answer wrong, we're going to subtract those number of points from your score, OK? So here we go. This is hard. On June 3rd, 2017, what 37-year-old Angel Slugger became, oh, and you don't have to bet a number. If you don't want to bet anything at all, you can bet zero, OK? On June 3rd, 2017, what 37-year-old Angel Slugger became just the ninth player in Major League Baseball history to hit 600 career home runs? One, Albert Pujols. Two, David Ortiz. Three, Curtis Granderson. Or four, Yunel Escobar. So you can just do one, two, three, or four if you'd like, and then what, what your wager is, OK? You gotta block that so she can't see what you're writing. That's the last one. Yeah. Okay, we ready? 
All right, you can show your answers. You said you're betting five, and you said Curtis Granderson, and you're betting zero, and what did you say? Uh, Unol Escobar? Yeah. It was actually Albert Pujols. So they both got those answers wrong, Andrew. What is the final? <laughs> Thank you. What is the final score? So 15 for Alicia. And five for Anna. So Alicia wins. Congratulations, Alicia. You win a shrug from the control room. Yay. So thank you very much, Westfordians, for joining us for the Westford Cat Quiz Show. <laughs> See you next time. Ladies and gentlemen and Westfordians of all ages, welcome to the Westford Cat Quiz Show, where we find out just how smart these Westford kids really are. Now let's meet our two contestants. On the blue side, please introduce yourself. I'm Rana and I like chickens. <gasps> Don't forget, I was going to say that. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry. On the green side, please introduce yourself. I'm Elena, and I like chickens more than the blue side. No, 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 I like chickens more than no, the no, green no, side. No, 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 I like I more like chickens. I like uh, no, 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 chicken is my chicken. I think my chicken is my chicken. He's my chicken. No, 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 he's my chicken. I think he's my chicken. It seems we've already got some competition. I like him more. Me too. I like him more. And we'll find out I'm the winner this. of this competition likes Guess chickens chicken. more. So okay. you have to know okay. a lot to find out if you like chickens. Fair now, okay. before we test your knowledge, here's Alicia to explain the rules. Okay, okay contestant. She knows I like chickens more. No, no, no. She knows I like chickens more. Okay, fine. Enough, girls. Okay, contestants. Katie will ask you a question and then we'll give you four options for answers. One of them is the right answer. If you think that you know the answer, push the buzzer on the table. The first person to push the buzzer on the table gets 10 seconds to answer the question. If they get the answer wrong, the other contestant gets a chance to answer. A correct answer wins you 10 points, but a wrong answer makes you lose five points. For the fifth and final question, instead of using the buzzer, both contestants will write down their answers on a piece of paper, along with the number of points they would like to bet. You can add as many or few points as you want. After the fifth question, whoever has the most points wins. Thank you, Alicia. Now, contestants, are you ready for your first question? Yeah. yeah. All right, question one. Which is usually named as the most famous museum in the world? Is it one, the Louvre? Is it two? The Smithsonian? Is it three? Is it Boston Museum of Science? Or is it the Discovery Museum? Discovery Museum? That is incorrect. No! Do you have a guess? B? That is also incorrect. The answer is the Louvre. The Louvre. I have no idea I what would that never is. Guess it's that. in France. Oh. It's, it has it the Mona Lisa like in it. The Louvre. Oh. Then, yeah. yeah. Ready, ready? All right, contestants. Second question. Which is the smallest country in the world? Is it one, Monaco, two, Liechtenstein, three, the Vatican, or four, Malta? The first one. You think it's Monaco? I don't know. That is incorrect. No. C? The Vatican? That is correct. The Vatican is the smallest country in the world. Now, can we check in on the scores with Alicia? Okay. Oh, so, Elena has zero points and Brenna has ten. Ooh, All right, nice so spy. Brenna has ten points and Elena has zero. Now, on to question three. Which is the largest land animal? Is it one, the Asian elephant, two, the walrus, three, the rhinoceros, or four, the African elephant? <coughs> The Asian elephant? That is incorrect. No. African elephant? That is correct. The African elephant is the largest land animal. Only reason I knew that is because I did a project on that in school. You mm -hmm. did? Yeah. When? School projects are very helpful on these sort of I things. Know. 
Now question four. She's what? a cheater! She cheated! God. She did a project on it in school. Oh, that's, that's not cheating. That's school. <laughs> That's school. I, I we go to the same school, so she she had. No, I got to pick my animal. She has an unfair advantage. We didn't get to do that. We didn't get to do that, Bruno. Oh, unfair advantage. Oh Question four. This will test your language knowledge. Which country gave us the words shampoo and pajamas? Is it A. England, B. India, C. Lesotho, or D. France? That is incorrect. France. That is also incorrect. Oh, what? The get answer wrecked. is India. Oh, <laughs> you want to fight? Let's Let's not go. throw on set. We're going to go out. All right, now let's check on the score. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Hayden, and today I'll be um, talking to kids who have attended the the <laughs> Westward Community <laughs> TV camp. And um, welcome to the show. Is this your first time coming to the camp? No. Yes. No. <laughs> Andrew, how many times have you been here before? Dose. Okay. Also w known as two. <laughs> um, what are you doing? So far this year, um, what has been your um, like favorite activity sleep during this camp? <laughs> <laughs> you don't sleep at the camp. Um, uh, acting, editing, and acting. Cool. Um, and also knows too. What's like the funniest thing that happened? Jake fart. <laughs> Jake <laughs> fart. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It was unavoidable. Yeah. High five. Um, <coughs> what other camps will you be participating in this summer? Some adventure Nine. camp that my mom signed me up for. Same. Yeah. I'm going to that camp too. Yeah. I'm not going Yay. to any camp. Andrew, go over there. Um, okay. What's your big goal Don't for the stay. next year at school? I don't want to talk about school in <laughs> summer. Okay. Not to do a lot of math. Um, what, would you recommend other kids to come to the um, to come to this camp? Yes, definitely yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what he said. Okay. Um, is there anything else you would like to say about your experience? Your mom so fast. Thank you for coming on the show. No, no you're more just, no, questions. More questions. <laughs> I don't know any more questions. Yes. Welcome to the show. I'm your host Brenna, and uh, today I'll be talking with kids who have attended the Western Community TV Video Camp. AKA the Western Cat. What did you like best about the Western Cat Camp? Hmm. I liked oh, editing. Or working on the cameras, control room, quiz shows. I liked editing. Oh, okay. What about you? I liked writing the script. I liked doing the sequences. Oh, okay. Did all of you do different ones? Yeah, well, actually, we did it together. Oh. <laughs> what was it about? It was about Hong Kong and Christmas, <laughs> let's just say. Interesting. Have you ever done What's Your Cat before? I have. Third I have. year. Third year, really? This is my second year doing this What's Your Cat. This is my second year. Um, what was the funniest thing that happened at camp this week? Everything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me, like, describe one thing? It could be um, doing oh, when camera we, when we were stuff. When we were fighting? Over who oh, likes, I remember that. Who likes oh, chickens and more then you, in the um, game show? And then you, um, like, um, got a thousand points. Like, I put down, like, a yeah. million points. Oh, yeah, like, just with thousands of zeros. Yes. Would you guys recommend the ice cream motorcycle lady to come back? Yes, I yes. would. Yeah. She is a yes. great lady. Yes. I can totally agree Very. with that. Very. How can we make the camp, like, more fun next year, like, more exciting and everything? Hmm. More snacks than just cookies. Yeah. That's a good one. Like like last year, I remember there was goldfish, like popcorn and cookies. But this year is just kind of cookies. A cookie? No, no, no shade on cookies. Cookies are good. Just some a more variety. Maybe different of, types of cookies. We already did different types of cookies. We need more like snacks. So. Oh, yeah, okay. So true. Would you recommend other kids to come to this camp, or would you just like 
and not to be other kids. No, I recommend that other kids come to this camp because this is a good camp. <laughs> Would it's you recommend doing more quiz shows with enthusiastic um, voters and stuff? Yeah. Voters? What do you yeah. mean? Like, oh, the the audience. Our audience that we had the our first audience time. Was, well, yeah, I was horrible. horrible. We were horrible. it, and we were just like, what? <laughs> Do you want to change anything about the groups this year or about the movies or anything? I think oh. we should be able to pick our groups and the uh, I think topics. we should be able, be able to pick our groups and pick like what our movie gets yeah, made Yeah, that's what I mean. And yeah. also I think Jake should stop burping and stinking up the whole place. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, was this, out of all the years you guys have done this, was this the best year or was this more improved than last year? What do you mean? That's like the same thing. More improved than last year or the best year? No, I mean like. Is it more say, improved? Yeah, is it more improved than last year? I think year? it's more improved than last year, but I yeah. liked it last year more because we got to pick our groups. Yeah. Maybe they did that because so there was no fighting. <laughs> Sounds good. Would mine. you recommend kids from other towns to start having something like the Western Cat in their town? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do you like using the cameras and stuff like that? Yes, I do. Well, I don't like using the cameras, but I like being in the control room. That's okay. Like the cameras can be difficult sometimes. <laughs> Did you like script? Does anyone have any comments about script writing? I'd rather not write a script, but I, at the same time, I think it's helpful so that you know what you have to say and stuff, so you don't just make it up. Well, I can. I completely agree. Like, yeah. you have basic things you yeah. want to say, but, but you can then, change it up a little. Yeah, like improvise. Yeah, I love scripts <laughs> and writing them. You know what I mean, though. Like, there's a basic script, but then, but then you improvise. You can lot. say add things, not like just it has to be down, down, and down. More. A lot of comic lines, comic book lines come from that. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Nope. No. I would like to say that the best part of Westward Cat this time was the ice cream. <laughs> well, thank That's you for your time to share your thoughts with me. Bye.